Yeah, hey everybody, back to code, back to code. So what we're gonna look at here is how to deal with different data types and how we can mix them, if you will, in our Python code. So what you're gonna see is that the knowledge of data types is not just academic. It has a practical purpose. We gotta be practical in our code. So let's first create a couple of variables. We're gonna go name equal, oh, not plus, equals. And we're gonna say uh, Stefan. We're gonna say age equals 40. I'm not gonna say my real age. And we're gonna say month equals four. All right, so let's save that. And we're going to function F5. And we'll see nothing happens here because we haven't done anything as we know, right? So let's now print out the name variable. F5. Stevan, pretty good. So let's now print out the name variable plus the text space loves pizza. All right, everything works out fine. We see the output works out pretty fine. So you see we're able to add up or stick together the contents of the name variable. In this case, it's the string Stefan. And we add it to the string, as in a string of text, loves pizza. You notice we got the quotes here. That's why it's a string. You notice I put a space here. If we look down here, Steph, and there's a space, loves pizza. Now, if I took out the space, save F5, you see there would be no space. Now you know why I put a space. Not bad, not bad. So let's continue. So let's go print, yeah, let's print age, 40. Pretty good. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do something here. Now, what I just done here, I turned the data type in month into a string from an int. I did that by putting in a quotes, right? So when I have four like that, we know that month is of the data type. And I'm gonna use a comment here, int, right? It's int at this point because there's no quotes. But if I put quotes around it, it becomes string, right? It's a string. See, this comment will be ignored by Python. So let me just make that point. F5, right, four. Now watch what happens if I take off this this hash sign, we're going to get an error because Python's going, what are you doing? Invalid syntax. No, didn't like that, right? So I'm just going to take that out for now. So, okay, stuff that we've seen all before. Now, hmm, let's try this. We're going to say, uh, get rid of this. And let's say we go uh, name plus month. Save. F5. Stefan 4. Eh, that's not good. Let's go like this. We want a space, all right? So we go plus. There we go, Stefan plus four. What you should notice in everything that we've done thus far is that we're constantly printing variables or information, like this is a piece of information. Believe it or not, in Python, a space like that is information. We'll get into that later on, but what we've done thus far is we've printed information that is always strings. They're always strings, right? This is a string, this is a string. We've always printed strings. Now watch what happens when we try to print a string. We know that the name variable has a string. And then we're gonna print eh, the age, right? The age though, we know is the data type int, since we didn't put quotes around it. Let's save this, F5, ah, look at that. We have a type error. Type error, must be string, not int talking about this. So what is Python telling us here? It's saying that you cannot print at the same time a variable of the data type string, name is the data type string, right? Because it's it's a string, with a variable of the data type int, right? So let's say type error must be string, not int. So it's saying if you want to print something with name, it has to be string. It can't be int, can't not be int. So you see right there, 
where your knowledge of data types is going to help you with bugs, right? You're typing code, blah, blah, bam, you're doing some complex stuff, and you're going, why is it not working? Ah, you can't mix your data types. So how do you deal with that? Ah, pretty simple. Python, we have built-in capabilities, something called a function. We're going to be looking at functions in depth very soon. Functions provide functionality. So we've been using the print function here to print out stuff. Now we're going to use the str function, which is short for string. And what is the str function doing? It's converting this variable with an int data type into a string data type, right? So let's save that. Then we F5, boom, it works. Isn't that interesting? Now I don't like that, it uh, doesn't look good. I'm gonna put a space, I'm gonna put another plus like this, function F5, there we go, Stefan 40. We've learned something new here. We've learned that you cannot mix data types. And when you do wanna mix data types, sometimes you're gonna to have to do some data type conversion and you're going to be converting data types so they can play nice together and be friendly. And we use something called the, the str function. That's sure for string, of course. Much more to learn about this, but let's get into some quizzing now.